everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. I cannot believe this is the last day of Vlogmas, officially. I'm 99.9% .9 certain I'm not gonna be vlogging on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day this year. I just need a break. So today is the last day. Mm. Can you believe it, Jess? <laughs> I think I've missed about eight days in total this month, which is like, well, yeah, it's all right. not bad. It's a, I mean, it's okay. It's not as good as last year, but I proved to myself I can do it last year. It's just that this year, I wasn't feeling very festive. We came back from holiday, like just kind of a day into Vlogmas, and I just wasn't really feeling it. My life hasn't been this as exciting as it was last December, so there wasn't really much that was vloggable. But yeah, I'm happy with my effort anyway this morning i have been rushing around doing like loads of laundry i like to like wash all the towels and the bed sheets and stuff before i go home for christmas or just before i leave so they have a few days to dry because we don't have a dryer and then i have sorted out the video for tonight like i'm gonna show you the mess in front of me <laughs> we've been packing but we didn't unpack our suitcase from manchester because we knew that there'd be a few jumpers and bits we want to repack for leicester so it's like stuff all over the floor we've just had lunch had some of those pickles from last night they were so good i made a banh mi with these tofu burgers that i bought from the vegan supermarket in manchester and now i'm running late to go to my friend's house i was supposed to go and see her and her baby and i thought i'd take you with me but her baby's actually not there there's nothing to really vlog <laughs> she's so cute i haven't seen her for ages but she's, she's like 10 months old i think and i bought them all a christmas present so i'm just gonna go and drop that off to them and en route at home i'll go pick up my cousins i think depending on if they're ready <laughs> so that they can come to leicester with us this evening but i'm not gonna take my camera with me because like i said the baby's not there and i'm literally just gonna pop in see my friend give her their presents so i have a gift bag here with a card for them and I bought her a toy plane which I think is just perfect for their child because they travel more than me and Jas do and this baby is like 10 months old and she's been abroad three times and not just to Europe she's been to like Canada well Tenerife and somewhere else so I just thought that was a very apt toy for her <laughs> the two little wooden spoons I got from Kenya and these are the pickles that I made for them and actually the label has been completely fine in the fridge it hasn't like like the ink hasn't faded or anything which is always a good thing i'm gonna leave jas here to wrap some presents while i go he's been out this morning collecting his click and collect parcels so he's got some wrapping to do i'm 90 percent packed i need to sort my shoes out and just empty the fridge out and just take it all to my grands with me when i come home and then yeah we're gonna leave for leicester so yeah i'm gonna leave you at home and i'll see you guys later <laughs> We're finally in the car. I've been rushing around all day like a mad woman, trying to pack, sort last minute bits out, drop off gifts, pick little people up. <laughs> and now we're in the car, it's all packed. Don't open the boot, just whatever you do. It's so packed. Um, <laughs> these guys are having to sit with a karaoke machine in between them because we all have so much luggage. I apologize. Oh, the light's gone off. We are now on our way to Leicester. We're all a little bit we're all just a little bit like lethargic because we are gasping for a coffee so mm. once we've picked up the coffee we'll do some karaoke on the way to like pick up a coffee oh. and then we'll grab a starbs and then we'll do a q a Woo! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and then once we get to leicester we have to have dinner and rush to the supermarket because this is all we ever do at christmas to pick up last minute bits for the cheesecake that i'm now making tomorrow wish me luck i don't want anyone to be alarmed but we are going to the Costa drive through not Starbucks. <laughs> I know, shock. I love Starbucks, but Costa's festive drinks just look and kind of taste better. This is like the, the decision that we've all come to. It's true, they are better. I feel like such a traitor. I really apologize, Starbucks 
HQ CEO. If you're watching this, I do love you normally, but just not at this time of year. I know, not even quarter. Eleven months out of a year, I do love you, just not at this time of year. No, the Starbucks should make their food drinks this more. This is the car, car mm -hmm. drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go! <laughs> okay, do you want to get it? Oh, you've got some festive drinks here. Ginger and latte, winter roast back. What's your hat on the back? Telford Home. It's, it's free, that's why. This is a free hat. Honestly, it was free. <laughs> Serena is upset with Costa. I love cream. They didn't give her cream on her hot chocolate. I know, her coffee. It's meant to have cream. It was advertised with cream. She didn't tell us they ran out of cream until we questioned it. Serena's yeah. not happy. This wouldn't though. have happened at Starbucks, I'm telling you. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I just know it. We all, apart from Anusha, got the Irish velvet. Well, I got a cappuccino, they got lattes. Um, because we all have an unhealthy obsession with the ah, Irish. What was it? I don't care about the the Christmas tree I just want you for my own more than you could ever know last Christmas I gave you my heart but the very next day you gave it away this year to save me from tears I gave it to someone special Have the opportunity to ask these two and Jas any questions, anything you want to know about me. Basically, I'm a little bit worried about this to be honest. Um, I got some really good questions, so let me ask the first one. Are you guys ready? Yep, yeah. Wait, is it, uh, is it whoever answers first? Um, is it a question to you, and then we answer all three of us? Well, some of them are like for me, I think, some are, are just for like you, and some are just open. So, whoever my friend Sandy passed this. What makes Nishi extremely grumpy or extremely happy? Uh, do you want to go first? No. <laughs> do you want to go first? Okay, I'll go first. Well, extremely grumpy, I've got. <laughs> I think everyone. What do you I mean, no? I think this is turning out to be terrible. Yeah, I think we should all just go one by one for the grumpy thing. <laughs> when, she's, when she's hangry. Hangry, oh, yes. Hangry, that's a good Yes. Part. When she hasn't had her coffee. Yes. <laughs> Basically, when she wakes up, first thing in the morning. Yeah, first, yes. first thing in the morning, you can't even tilt, you can't even talk to her. I actually vouch for all of those. <laughs> you can't drive. So, oh, when people can't drive, drive, I get road rage, oh, serious loves, road yeah. rage. Well, I'm actually not. Sometimes better your horn might be half, don't you? Oh yeah, because he's so slow. Like somebody will cut him up and be like a complete like yeah. idiot, and then <laughs> he just won't like be. So I'll be like leaning yeah, over like, like beep on yeah, his behalf. Well, sometimes um, you'll like turn the steering wheel for me as well, like when you're doing that's like it. That's me and Anusha. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what makes you extremely happy? Let's say some positive things about Nishi, shall we? My dad's food. <laughs> Your dad's food. Coffee, Coffee yeah. A um, plane ticket anywhere. Yes. Yeah, so, so See, if ever you guys want to buy me the perfect gift, Ryanair always have a sale yeah, on no. five pound flight Coffee anywhere. Oh <gasps> yes. Oh, this makes me so happy. And Aperol, guys. Yes, Aperol. Aperol, Aperol coffee. coffee. Espresso martini. Vietnamese. Espresso yeah. martini. Oriental food. Oriental food. Barn meat. Such food. Alcohol. Such as food. Alcohol. Such as food and drink. That makes me really yeah, happy. Yeah, and travel. Well, and travel. What else makes you happy? Me. Lipsticks. Me. Yeah, that's probably all really people in your life, you know. Anisha's more about the Indian. Yeah. Okay, let me find the next question. Somebody said, does Aperol really taste that good? That in capitals. Yes. And if you haven't tried it by now, what are you doing with your life? It is <laughs> so good. I mean, it's amazing in the oh, summer. Oh, you have, sorry. It's a good summer drink. It's really refreshing in the summer, it definitely. It is. It's not too sweet. It's not like a pina colada or anything disgusting like that. No offence, I know you really like them. It's kind of a little bit bitter, but not too bitter because I don't do sour stuff. It's just the perfect drink, guys. Just try it, live a little, you will love it. Like, honestly, and not just in the summer, all year round. It's just my favorite thing ever. Santa Claus. This, <laughs> this is a good one. What's one thing that really annoys you about Nishi? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, no, no. we're starting with Jas, because 
Uh, this one will have a list. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things that annoy me about you. <laughs> You know what? Just, just pull up on the hard shoulder. I don't want to jump out. God, one thing, one thing. What annoys me? The back issue. Um, just one. Oh, okay. Serena, you're the nicest person. No, I actually have nothing. What was really? <laughs> okay, we're done with the questions now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> really? No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh God. There's nothing that springs to mind. Yeah, Starting off well, but <laughs> nothing springs to mind actually. Really? Yeah. Even you? Wow. Why are you surprised about that? Because you take any opportunity to like be mean to me. Yeah, but when I'm mean to people, this is what we don't. When I'm mean to people, it means I really like them. Well, no, one it's thing that annoys me, in fact, it's my way of showing love. Is the fact that <laughs> don't be. I mean, okay, uh, apart yeah. from all the grumpiness, that kind of stuff, right? One thing that does annoy me is that you do get really hot quickly, yeah. Yeah. And you huff and puff means that we can't go holiday like hot countries. Because uh, you get hot. See, when I get so really, really hot and sweaty, I, I feel so yeah. uncomfortable, so and it makes me like the grumpiest person. More so than like before I've had my morning coffee. I hate being hot, sweaty, and uncomfortable, <laughs> and I'm just super pissed off when that happens. And I just want to cool down. I can't concentrate on anything else, especially because I get really hot on my face, like my makeup, like it's just. I just hate that feeling. Like I'd literally rather sit on a block of ice, like today, <laughs> right now. Um, yeah, that is that is a good one. Yeah. It could be frustrating for me. That's what you're doing. Well, yeah, it is really annoying. I but I just, I'm just always really hot. You don't let us pay for anything. <laughs> that annoys me. Yeah, but you're little. I'm not gonna let little people pay. She's nineteen. But she's a student. <laughs> that annoys me. She well, makes Oh please. <laughs> Look, when you're older, and I'm. Old and grey, you can pay for everything for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How long have you and Jas been together? Can we I met. Guess? I guess. Oh yeah, you can guess. Okay. Oh, no, I know. Ten years, right? No, no, no. They've been together for longer than that. Do you mean dating as well as married? Yeah. Okay, no, 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 longer than that though, because her parents didn't know for a few years. I think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're brown. Ironically. Like no one knew about me and Jasper. We just started dating, and also when you're brown and when you're, if you're my age, back then I guess it wasn't. I didn't know if it was acceptable or not because you just don't know these things. Um, turns out my parents really don't care. But <laughs> now, but <laughs> I just didn't know obviously at the time. And so we'd just been, we'd just started dating, and so it wasn't even a thing. It was just like us hanging out, right? So there was nothing to advertise, and literally like three weeks into it. My grandparents turned up with her. And I was like a baby. <laughs> she was a baby and she was like one of the first people to meet him. So yeah, go on, guess how many years? No, I was really young, I ran into him, that's why I remember. But I was quite young, I would have been about probably like five, probably. So if I was five, that means eleven years ago. So they probably been You were like younger, you were younger than that. Okay, so thirteen years 15. is my guess. It, uh, how many years? Thirteen. 2007? Long time. 2007? We, we met in 2005. But when did you start dating? Oh yeah. And we got together in 2005. Really? Was it 2005? Yeah. So oh, me yeah. and Serena were in between. Like, well it was, well it was kind of New Year's Eve, so early 2006. So I was trying. Well we, we, we met, like it was kind of just before Christmas actually, so. End of 2005. End of 2005, 2005 beginning of 2006. Years yeah. this year, next year, sorry. Wait, Ten years. Been? If you were a sandwich, what type of sandwich would you be? And why? Why? No, there's no why. why? Wait, 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 oh, I know. This is a really good question. It's very original. It's better than I don't know. Anyway, I would be a barn me because <laughs> <laughs> is that really obvious? Yes. Well, okay, no, I'll take, I take it back then. No. I would be a sandwich with grilled halloumi, bally malou relish. Hey, that's my little answer. That would be no. Bally malou, like it's my answer. Avocado, sweet corn, grilled mushrooms that aren't watery and disgusting. We'd have to get sweet corn in there somewhere, <laughs> and bread that's like soft and like like good bread, but. It's not too fat. I hate too much bread in a sandwich. <coughs> and chuck a bit of cucumber in there too. The sweet corn is like makes it really weird, but 
like you, I can't not have sleep on in my answer. What sandwich would you be? I would You've have got to pickles, be one. by the way, but okay. Oh yeah, pickles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any I'd kind have of pickles. With loads of guests. Cucumber, yes. <laughs> yes I love you would literally just be cucumber, cucumber and cheese, don't you? Just literally, yeah. You would literally just be cucumber. Oh, I do. I love a cheese and cucumber just, sandwich. I'm sorry, but I just simple, just that's what I think. I love it. I mean, I love it. You can just tell what kind of people that you two are. Yeah, cheese and cucumber. Complicated. Simple. Apparently, we're new friends. Shut up. Cheese and cucumber. You're right. You're a pack lunch. Combination. You're like a five star, like kind of like seven course meal. <laughs> Do you have any similarities to Nishi? <laughs> I mean, her whole life is similar to mine. So let's not even ask her for a list. Let's do a list of how I'm similar to Nishi. Coffee, coffee, food, food. Just the way we view things in life. Artistic talent. Artistic talent. Talent. Just the way we see things. Just the way we, the way we talk. Our sarcastic humour. Yeah, the way you finish each other's sentences. We do swear to much. Both loud. Sorry? Both loud. And, uh, loud we are and both loud. Yeah. My gran always says that if me and Anusha aren't at family get-togethers, like, it's like a funeral. Like, <laughs> you would know. Everyone else is so quiet. We have the same humour. We are, yeah. Definitely the same humour, we're yeah. both sarcastic. I love we, karaoke. We love karaoke, we give as good as we get to yeah. each other. Yeah. I love that even when she was younger, like I'm talking about 10, mm, like, t yeah, 10, 12, yeah. I could say anything to her and she wouldn't be offended. Mm. I hate people that get offended really because easily because I can't be around people like that because I offend yeah. them really easily like and fantastic. I don't think before I speak, and she's kind of the same. Mm. Anyway, yeah. what about you? Any similarities to me? Food. We love food. Yeah. We do. We have yeah. similar... Your food babies. Actually, that's very true. I always say that a lot of people will say, oh, this restaurant's opened up, it's really good. And I just take it all with a pinch of salt. Because realistically, I would only be trust Serena, my sister, and Jas. If, like, when they say it's good, I know it's good. Yeah. I have another cousin who... Like, she's spot on about 75% of the time, but not always. Me and Serena, like, we just like the same food. It's just great. You like, like the same drinks as well. And the same drinks as well, yeah. Do you have any similarities to me? I probably quite opposite. Me and you are probably quite opposite. We're very opposite, opposite though. Yeah, yeah. We're opposite. I mean, I think the only thing we like uh, in common is probably, like, travel. We like travelling a lot, but apart from... I would day, literally kill myself if I married stuff. someone that didn't want to travel. Yeah, but day to day Imagine stuff, if I like, married someone that didn't want to travel. I travel. think we're quite opposite. I'd be like, mate, you sit at home and do whatever you want. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but we are, we are quite opposite in terms of like food or our no, kind of. I think food you guys are quite similar. Kind of. I mean, we like the same cuisine. Like you, yeah. But he's very much a, I need a main, whereas I'm like, no, I need three stars. Yeah, I don't like sharing. You yeah, like sharing. Yeah, he hates sharing food. Mm. Very dissimilar with like actual like practical things like what they eat, like, do you know what I mean? Like, what they're like, do you know what I like practical things, but like the way that you view things, like you have the same outlook yeah. and like the same morals. That's a good mean? one. So why are we thinking you guys are like similar in like the way that you like approach situations, like most situations? Yeah. yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like how yeah, do you no, describe it? Like that what is they very, eat, like, how they dress, like where they go, like do you know what I mean? That is very insightful. Maybe I should just like quit now and just let her <laughs> like just take over this channel. Like she is way more articulate than me. Um, English lit A level student. <laughs> what is your favourite memory with your man apart from meeting me in GAY? This guy called Johnny that we met in a gay bar. He's so funny. I love him. So hi Johnny. Hi Johnny. Um, do you remember him? Yeah, I remember him. Oh, he's so much fun. Anyway, was, we had two Johnnies that day. Yes, we have a friend called Johnny, and we'd gone to this gay bar with him, me and Jas, and we met another guy called Johnny, and we befriended him, and like he always like messaged me on Instagram. He's great. Anyway, this question is from him. What's our favourite memory with you? We have so many memories. What? All of our travels. Yep. Um, yeah, a lot of us travel. Well, we've been so many places. I can't believe it's memories. I mean, like, we've been together for like even the a most lifetime. recent uh, trip to Kenya was a good memory. We've been together for like most of her lifetime, yeah. which makes me feel so old. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, still remember, I still remember Capri like yesterday. Yeah, I was going to say that, Capri. I mean, that's the, we, I still want to go back there. So, I had just come back from living in Italy before I met Jazz, and 
I just remember saying to him when we first got together, oh, like, I want to get married in Capri, or I want someone to pr propose to me in Capri. It's the most beautiful island. And back then, obviously, there was no, like, Instagram. Well, there's no social media. There's no internet on phones. There's barely just internet. There's no Wi-Fi. Was there Wi-Fi? I don't know, right? It was, like, back in the day. And nowadays, when you look at Capri, like, the island on Instagram, I think Instagram and all these travel bloggers that use all these Lightroom presets have ruined it because it is so beautiful. Like back in the day I used to say, like travel agents don't do it justice in their brochures. But actually, I think people on Instagram try and make it look even more beautiful. So that when you go there, it might be, might be a bit of a letdown. And I think that's terrible. Oh, yeah, because not, not from the way, way I remember it, it is just a beautiful island. And that is where Jasper proposed to me. So I will never forget that. Yeah. He remembered it. Yeah. Oh, nice. there. So. I obviously I was waiting for the moon, I can't remember that day. <laughs> we're doing two more, change of plan, because we're almost in Leicester now. It's gone very really quickly. What's your favourite place you've visited? Can you guess? I don't know. What, I don't think there's a favourite place. It's going to be New York. I have three favourite places. Okay, I think somewhere in Italy. Definitely New York, Italy, somewhere in Italy. She loves, she loves Manhattan. Well, New York. And Dublin. And she loves going so I don't know if it's during a November time. Dublin, maybe. <laughs> Oh, she loved Dublin. You guys have got it, yeah. Basically, New York, I love. Like, love, love, love. Dublin, like, Ireland. Just the yeah. whole of Ireland. And Capri, obviously, because we got engaged there. Yeah. And kind of Florence, though, because I, like, lived there. Yeah. So, Italy, Ireland, and New York. My three favourites. I can't place. pick one, sorry. What's your biggest pet peeve? I have so many pet peeves. <laughs> yeah, Where do you want to start? <laughs> you guys tell them my pet peeves. Chewing. Yes. Yes, people yeah. chewing. Just oh, the sound so of them <laughs> chewing. I'm just like, ah, I want to scream. <laughs> you give them one of my pet peeves. I don't know. I mean, people who drive badly. <laughs> yeah, pe bad drivers. 100%. She's very OCD, so she doesn't like clutter. Um, no, he's, okay, this is where me and Jas clash, okay? Because he is naturally a very untidy, Perfect. messy person. You even said it yourself. Yeah, like, when we lived at home, yeah. he hadn't seen his bedroom floor for years. <laughs> it's not really bad. <laughs> you, no, you say that. And I've seen, really I like, saw I've your bedroom, <laughs> and I, to this day, don't know if it was carpeted, tiled, <laughs> laminate, I just don't know what it was. There was just really so like much crap everywhere. And I used to be, I'm not as bad anymore, right? You, I'm sure you'd agree. Yeah. So OCD, like literally, like, the was, cupboard yeah. door can't be like you know, like ajar, like slightly, and like I just, I just very, very like neat freak. I'm not that bad anymore. So kind of I'm way, that... in the middle, don't we? Really? Yeah, but I hate that you're making me messier. And I'm a very organised person. Yeah. I'm very like meticulous lists. in what I do. I have lists yeah, for lists. Diary. Yep. You are very disorganised yeah. and it drives me mad. Thanks. This was like a whole bonus thing. This wasn't even part of the question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is all like the things that piss me off about Jazz. But yeah, those are the two ways that we clash. Um, anyway, we are now in Leicester. So we're going to end the Q&A here. Have one last Mariah Carey all I want for Christmas because that is tradition and Serena might just cry if you don't play it for her. <laughs> she needs to hear that song like every other song at Christmas. So I'm going to go and I will see you when we get to my fans. On a scale of 1 to 10, how embarrassed are we right now? Please, oh my god. Oh, watch this. Yeah. Just watch this. See, it's gonna love dress. This is in my words. Dad, wanna know, gotta do it now. These two are obsessed with JLS. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? I mean, I'm more surprised at Jazz, to be honest. If they were doing these in the club, everyone would leave. <laughs> We get, get one, one shot, shot. <laughs> to make it count. You might never get this moment again. <laughs> I am mortified. I mean, I'm married to one and related to another by blood. What happened to you? <laughs> You only no, get one shot. Should we just walk the rest of the way? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't go. My love's on the line. Never broke up. <laughs> that my heart won't beat again. You should have seen it again. But when you left me, you stopped and tell me that my heart won't beat again. I won't beat again. You're killing me. Telling me that my heart won't beat again.
the Oh yeah, that's a boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> oh, this one, I remember this one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's like quarter to ten. Well, it's actually half nine, that's always forward. My grandparents haven't eaten yet. They must be starving, they're waiting for us. We just arrived in Leicester. And here is Serena, Charlotte, there is Michi, and now we right. zoom in. We are hungry! Here is Serena in her natural habitat. <laughs> Dinner was great. Serena and I unloaded the car. Yeah. Like, literally the boot and the whole back seat was full. And we are now just sat here watching Anusha decorate the rest of the tree because we started it because we we're really excited to have it up. But we actually both hate decorating the tree. And we didn't put the lights up and she's like kind of struggling. Kind of struggling. <laughs> I mean, I do feel sorry for her. But at the same time, we unloaded the car and now we're pooped. And Jas is helping my gran like fix the timer on the heating or something <laughs> so we all have our jobs Anusha are you okay there no <coughs> oh she did so well it is half 12 and I've got everyone signed on the Clementines we're all having sorry what it's 12 22 same difference <laughs> we're all eating Clementines Clementines. 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 It's 1.15am and we're doing a Tesco run, which is just typical of us on Christmas Eve. It's officially Christmas Eve, by the way. I'm still vlogging. I've committed to making a cheesecake tomorrow. I don't know why. And I lost my recipe. So now I found a new one online, which isn't quite the same. So I'm going to have to wing it and hopefully the family like it. But... We thought we'd just brave the supermarket now rather than tomorrow. Watch how we forget something, we'll start to come back tomorrow. <laughs> ah, you guys tired? No, nope, we're ready to shoot. <laughs> oh, I think they want drinks like when we go sister. back home as well. Well, she's a student, she's used to late exactly. nights. And I'm not ridic now. Because I go to see, I, I'm still She's like the to granny. School. Yeah, I still go to school, so I go to see like 10 every night. You've only got one more year at home. Yeah. A year and a half. <laughs> He's literally oh, oh, oh. walking around like this. <laughs> she really is a mini me. Look, I'm wearing my pink coat, if you guys can see. Oh. Very good. And look, we have Santa. Oh, sorry, in the driving seat. We just got home and I reckon it's probably about 2.30 in the morning. We've got so many things from the supermarket and my ground's going to kill me in the morning and somehow I have to find space in her fridge, which is very tricky, especially at Christmas time. And these two are not helping me. I'm unpacking their shopping. They're both like, one of them sat in the dining room watching my vlogger's video. The other one sat in the living room. I can just hear my voice like from all around the house downstairs. Jess has gone to bed. We're all quite hungry. So I'm gonna put the shopping away. We're gonna raid my grand's cupboards and have some like midnight or 2 a.m. snacks. Serena is wrapping a last minute shit gift. <laughs> we do shit gifts on Christmas Eve. If you've watched vlogmas before, we basically give each other crappy presents to open on Christmas Eve. It's like a tradition. I'm about to edit my vlog and make a start on it while I'm gonna ask Anusha to make a sandwich for us. Because like there's no food in the house and we're all hungry. We found some cheese and some cucumber in the fridge. That's what we're gonna have. And actually, do you mind wrapping one of the presents for me, yes, please? Well. Um, it's this big box. <laughs> My grandparents' present came to their house. Funnily enough, I recruited the wrong sister. She's butchering my present. But I'm usually a perfectionist, and today I did a terrible job last night of wrapping my friend's baby's gift because it wasn't the perfect box. So my mouth is full. We're eating sandwiches. My gran just has like no junk food in her house. All the sweets and chocolate these guys bought from Tesco today. We just find all these crisps that are like clearly out of date, but you can't really have a sandwich without crisps, right? Mm -hmm. This footage is taking forever to import. Oh, I, I hate Vlogmas. I'm so glad it's done. <laughs> That's my biggest fan there. The one that always watches all my videos. Well, she says she does. Sometimes she lies. <laughs> Guys, 
it is 5 a.m. We have just been sat here eating loads of crap and um, just chatting away. I've not even started editing my video, but this is my very last Vlogmas video and my very last video of the year. I've decided I'm not going to do Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I just want to enjoy it this year and not have to worry about doing all this, like editing. Hopefully the video is up on time tomorrow, but my priority is actually making a cheesecake and hopefully it tastes good because there are a lot of good bakers in my family. I am not one of them. And a lot of people that like dessert. And <laughs> hopefully it turns out well. I'm really worried about this. I'm going to end this video here. It's really long. I want to say thank you so much if you've been watching Vlogmas. Thank you, Serena. <laughs> my only fan. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much if you've been keeping up with my Vlogmas videos. It really means the world to me. And thanks for being here on this not very consistent journey with me. I have nothing else to add to this, but I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Year. <laughs> and I will see you in the new year with some fresh content. Thanks for watching. Bye. bye. <laughs> Do you want to say bye? <laughs>